two British parliamentary committees are due to quiz tax officials about how Starbucks was able to avoid paying tax on £1.2 billion $1.93 billion of sales since 2009. Lawmakers said the Reuters report that showed Starbucks had been telling investors its UK unit was highly profitable while telling British authorities the unit was law-smacking, and thereby not liable for tax, undermined public trust in the tax system. Margaret Hodge, chair of the Public Accounts Committee and a member of Parliament for the centre-left opposition Labour Party, is among several lawmakers who said they thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Wanted Her Majesty's Revenue and Customs HMRC the UK tax authority to launch the investigation into Starbucks tax affairs. Hodge said the head of HMRC and other officials would be testifying to the committee, which is tasked with ensuring value in government financial affairs, next month and that HMRC had questions to answer over about Starbucks's practices. There was no evidence that Starbucks had been engaged in any kind of wrongdoing. It said it paid its tax in Britain to the letter of the law. The Treasury Subcommittee, which oversees HMRC, thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Is also due to question HMRC officials and its chairman, lawmaker George Moody, said he planned to question them about Starbucks. He said he also hoped the committee could hear from executives from the company, although he noted he would need broader committee support to call the company to testify. Labor members of Parliament John Mann who sits on the subcommittee, said he would like it to hold an investigation focusing on Starbucks but Moody said this was unlikely. HMRC does not comment on individual taxpayers and rejected any challenge to thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Its efficacy. We make sure that multinationals pay the right tax to the UK in accordance with UK tax law, it said in a statement. Steve Baker a member of Parliament for the centre-right Conservative Party that rules in coalition, also called